Today's video is going to concentrate on microscopes. So far we've been talking a little bit about cells and we realize that cells are quite small. Most cells you can't see with the naked eye. So in order to see our cells, we need to use a microscope. Commonly the microscope we're going to be using in class is called a compound microscope. It magnifies the specimen that you're trying to look at when you place it on the slide magnifies with one of the objective lenses and also magnifies with what we call the ocular or eyepiece. Typically our eyepieces magnify 10 times and most of our microscopes have three objective lenses with varied magnifications on them. You would rotate the objective lenses around in order to change the magnification. In order to figure out how much the microscope is magnifying your image in total, with the objective lenses and the eyepiece, you would need to calculate it. So in order to calculate total magnification, how much your image or your specimen is being magnified or increased, you would multiply the eyepiece magnification by the objective lens magnification in order to figure out how much it's magnifying totally. So our example, if the eyepiece magnification is 10x or 10 times, and our objective magnification is 60x or 60 times, we would calculate total magnification by multiplying the eyepiece magnification of 10 by the objective magnification of 60 to get an answer of 600x. Why don't you pause the video for a second and try the second sample that's in your note packet. So the second sample that you tried in your note packet, you were attempting to calculate the total magnification of a microscope that has an objective of 43 times, or 43x, and an eyepiece of 10x. When you multiply them together, you should have gotten 430x. Unfortunately, sometimes when we look at things underneath a microscope, they're so tiny, it's so hard to tell how big they really are. So one of the things that we do is we can measure underneath the microscope. Typically, when we look through the microscope, the area that you can see we call the field of view, which is often abbreviated FOV. Now, our typical microscope at a magnification, total magnification of 430x, might have a diameter or total diameter field of view of 2.4 millimeters. Now, if you were to think about how big that really is, if this were my microscope and I needed to measure 2.4 millimeters, it's pretty tiny. Those are the smallest lines on my ruler right here. It's very small. So one of the things we might do as we're measuring under the microscope is use an even smaller unit than millimeters. We would convert it to something called micrometers. So our conversion from millimeters to micrometers, for one millimeter there are 1,000 micrometers. Now if you can imagine this ruler again, this ruler, the small lines in between the very small lines is one millimeter. In between those lines would be 1,000 marks to indicate micrometers. So it's a pretty tiny unit that we're measuring in. An example of converting from millimeters to micrometers, if I had a measurement of 2.4 millimeters, I would multiply by 1,000 because we have 1,000 micrometers for every millimeter, and I would end up with an answer of 2,400 micrometers. When you're converting from millimeters to micrometers, you can also move the decimal point from its original place to the right three places if you were converting from millimeters to micrometers. If you were going from micrometers to millimeters, instead of multiplying by 1,000, you would divide by 1,000. Instead of moving your decimal point to the right three places, you could move your decimal point to the left three places for converting. Why don't you try the practice problem in your packet, hit pause. When you're done with the practice problem, press play again and we'll see how you did. So let's see how we did with our practice problem converting. If I were to measure my field of view of 1.2 millimeters, as you can see here, my 1.2 millimeters, if I wanted to convert it to micrometers, I would multiply by 1,000. So 1 1.2 times 1,000 would give me an answer of 1,200 micrometers. 
Now if I were trying to measure underneath the microscope, it would be really handy to have a ruler that I could use under the microscope in order to be able to do that measuring. But oftentimes things are so small that you wouldn't even be able to get that measurement accurately. If you look at my example right here, if I were under my lower objective lens, this would be my first millimeter mark if I were to take a clear plastic ruler and put it underneath the stage. I could see one millimeter mark here and then another millimeter mark right there. My diameter would be about 1.2 millimeters. If you were trying to measure something that didn't fit that whole field of view, you would not be very accurate at it. So one of the things that we try to do is we try to do an estimation in order to determine the size of an object when we're viewing it underneath the microscope. We know what our typical diameter is for our field of view if we had an object that looked like this. As we were looking at it under our lower objective lens, what we try to do is we try to estimate two ways. You can estimate by saying, I think that that object takes up about one-fourth or 25 percent of the diameter of the field of view, or I could say that if I lined up these objects side by side right next to each other across the diameter, I could probably fit four of them across my diameter. So in order to estimate the size of the object, you would take your measurement for the size or the diameter of the field of view in micrometers and you would divide by the number of objects that you thought that you could fit across or the fraction that you felt it took up. So in this particular example, with a diameter of 1,200 micrometers, if I thought that I could line up those objects, four of them in a row across the diameter, I would divide 1,200 micrometers by four to come up with an answer of 300 micrometers and that would give me the diameter or size of that one individual object as opposed to all four of them for the diameter of the field of view. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to hit pause on your video again and I'd like you to try the example that's in your packet. Press play when you're done and we'll see how you did. So in the example in your packet, we had six objects that would fit across our field of view. The last example, remember, we had four. This time we had six, and we're going to stick with the same field of view of 1,200 micrometers because we're going to use the same microscopes that we usually use. So again, in order to figure out the size of the object, we're going to take our diameter of our field of view in micrometers and divide it by the number of objects we think we can fit across the diameter in order to come up with our answer for the diameter of one object. So 1,200 micrometers divided by six gives us an answer of 200 micrometers. That's it for measuring with a microscope today and magnification of a microscope. Try to finish the rest of the sample problems in your packet tonight for homework, and we'll answer up some questions tomorrow. Thank you.